All right, so if we're down on the Ubik Uno Kickstarter, how do we feel about a the Remix Mini Kickstarter, which offers an, an a PC running Android for just twenty dollars? How do we feel about that? <laughs> Phil, does that get you excited? This is my excited face. <laughs> how many cheap twenty twenty dollar Android PCs have we seen? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I can think of any number of ways I would rather blow $20. Yep. Well, so th this is this I thought was interesting. Uh, so Chinese company Jai Tech, um, they're, the, they're the folks behind the Remix Mini. Um, they previously sold a, I forget the name of the product, but they, they kickstarted a tablet, um, a an, an, uh, tablet running Android through Kickstarter. Um, but this time around, it is a hockey puck, kind of like, you know, Apple TV, Roku, Xbox, uh, that is a PC that runs Android. Um, it's going to be $20 for the one gigabyte, mo one gigabyte model or $40 for the two gigabyte, mo two gigabyte model. Um, the specs on the on the computers are it's a 64-bit 1.2 gigahertz quad core, um, Cortex A53 all winner chip, um, the choice of one or two gig of RAM, eight or 16 gig of storage. Um, it's got Wi-Fi, two USB ports, Ethernet support, Bluetooth, HDMI connectivity, and support for a keyboard and a mouse. Um, and you know they've already and if we go to the Kickstarter page, they've already surpassed their goal, um, which was a lot less than the Ubik Uno. Uh, their goal was fifty thousand dollars, and they've already surpassed it with like forty days left to go in the campaign. So clearly, some people want a twenty dollar Android PC, um, and this is going to be shipping in October. Um, what I think is interesting is that you know when I saw this, I was like, how is this different than the Chromebox I have at my house? But then I was like, oh wait, this is actually running Android as the operating system, not Chrome. Um, which is, you know, continuing that weird kind of uh, dissection between Chrome OS and Android. Um, you know, whether or not Android is n good for a desktop PC, I don't know, but maybe, who knows? I'm so. just curious where where they're making money off of this. I mean, yeah. just the the parts alone and um, well, they're the, they're, the Chinese, they're a Chinese company. So. True, but yeah. <laughs> but there there has to be some goal that they're they're getting out of this and. Yeah. You know, I didn't see anything about their own proprietary software, things where they're going to push their their motive. But yeah. um, well, it it is running it is running a strain of Android called their Remix OS, mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of Android repurposed for a desktop environment um, that allows you to you know kind of move the apps around as Windows and things like that. Um, I don't know. It's neat. I mean, I could see people going twenty dollars. What what have I what do I got to lose? Um, but whether or not it takes off, uh, you know. But clearly, it has the support of Kickstarter, so. Who knows? Yeah, it'll be cool to see. I would rather take a $20 bill, fold it up, stick it in the HDMI port or wherever this thing plugs in, because a month later when I quit using this, I'll be able to pull that $20 bill back out and actually do something useful. <laughs> well, yeah, and that, that's I mean, that's a great point. I mean, I showed this to a, to a, a friend of mine earlier today, and we're d debating whether or not it's actually something that is a good computer to be used, depending on what, you know, if you need a, an affordable home desktop computer, is this a good option or things like this a good option? I mean, uh, Asus is supposedly putting out that Chrome bit, which is the little um, plugs into an HDMI port, little computer in a you know kind of like a Chromecast esque uh, format. So we're seeing computers computers getting smaller. Yeah, at that point, that's a much better deal. Like yeah. just put it up on your your big screen TV in your living room and work off of that. Um, that does seem just like a, a cute toy to buy. So. Yeah. So, so we will see. Well, it looks like uh, they're going to ship in October. So when they actually start shipping them, we'll see what people think of it. Uh, the folks who bought it.